Hello everyone, Roxas here, coming into episode number 16 of our Pokemon Insurgents and Let's Play. On the last episode we did our uh, rival battle and we got here to this city which I don't remember its name, but uh, Mechitown. I don't think there's a gym here, and uh, yeah we have our rival battle with, um, I forgot her name, the green lady, Nora? I think it was Nora. Yeah, with Nora, and yeah, uh, as I told you in between episodes, I was going to do some grinding, and I'm gonna show you how the team is gonna look for now. First, we have a uh, Mitchell or Michael, <laughs> Michael the Delta Squirtle, War Turtle, sorry, he's evolved with ba Bite, Packing Wave, Knockoff, and uh, now Shadow Sneak. Uh, then we have a Gato the Delta Dwebel with uh, Chip Away, Powder Snow, Dazzling Gleam, and Work Up. And you told me this was going to be our replacement for PK, ba PK, <laughs> for PK Thunder. So yeah, here we go. Uh, next we have a Valentine, uh, the Zubat with Confusion, Heart Stamp, Gust, and Air Cutter. Then Reseti, the Drill Bore with Mud Slap, Metal Claw, Slash, and Dig. And uh, Wonder has evolved into a Hunter with Shadow Punch instead of Leak. With Soccer Punch also, Confuse Ray, and Nightshade. And last but not least, we have a Julius, our Brim Blob, with Bubble Beam, Peck, Metal Claw, and Growl. Now, I leveled everyone up to level 28 because I think that if I put everyone up to level 30, like Cleaver, I think I was going to be over leveled, especially since he's a traded monk, he gains experience faster. So, yeah, that's the team we're gonna rock with. Uh, since we used Isabel on the last episode, I'm gonna box her on this one to give our newly evolved wonder a chance. I also caught another uh, Magnemite, uh, if you see PK Thunder is here. Uh, his only advantage is the speed, but I would rather have uh, Magnus as uh, Magnus the Magnemite as our uh, paralyzing Pokemon. Uh, he's bulkier, uh, he has more special attack. Uh, not even with the Magnet, he was uh, PK Thunder wasn't one-shotting the water types, and I was like, uh, nope, I don't like that. So yeah, uh, I also trained the Blubby, and he evolved into a Quagsire, shiny Blubby. Uh, I'm a little reluctant to use it, because he doesn't learn any water type moves until he's like level 50-something, and the only water type TM that we have is Brine, and he doesn't learn it, so that's sad. Zebra's uh, here. Um, also, I caught up the male Kirliad, actually. I didn't catch a male Ralts, I ran into a male Kirliad, so here he is. Uh, this is in case I do decide to go for the mono <laughs> fighting run. I think it would be interesting to do that. Uh, but my main issue right now is that I don't have a resistance, well, at least a neutral way to handle uh, fairy types. If I had that, uh, I would so happily do that, but for now I think uh, I only turn the game because he, I, it's the one that I want the most actually. My job was here just because he's a fighting, but yeah, for now he's just a psychic fairy so he doesn't te technically uh, can be added to the mono fighting, but yeah, uh, I caught it just to have it there already. And uh, let's get back our egg, this is how... Uh, what our team is gonna look like. I think I'm gonna box Valentine for now. Do I have anything else? Uh, maybe I'm gonna box Resetti for now. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some what of it's called a rotation team, so I'm not gonna have for now uh, on the same party the. War Turtle and Data Scizor because, again, uh, both fighting types and it would be a repeated typing. And as you said, I would have to rebuild the whole team so that I have a more balanced team. Uh, so, yeah. For now, I think uh, you haven't seen Gato in battle, so yeah. And let's put the egg at the end of the party because that's how I want. I like it being sorted. And yes, as I said last episode, I'm gonna be doing the exploration of uh, this town. 
So uh, I think I visited all the houses before the bridge because over here was where we were interrupted by Nora. So let's see if there's anything interesting. Hello. Do you? How do the people at the daycare know what's going on in there? Did they never le learn about the Starly and Vidril or something? <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. I heard. I heard that there was a sect of the Rangers somewhere in this region. If only I knew where, though. I'd love to join up. Also, are there rangers in this game? Whoop whoop! Nothing. Let's see. <laughs> it's a book that reads the Cubone Kangaskhan relationship. Would you like to read it? Yes! Cubone are always wearing the skulls of their deceased mothers. However, the question remains what is a Cubone before its mother dies? The answer is Kangaskhan. Cubone is a baby Kangaskhan whose mother has died. When Cubone puts on the skull of its mother, it becomes a different species of Pokemon, though methods are known. Through methods unknown. This is also likely the reason Mega Kangaskhan and Mega Marowak share the same ability, parental bond. Oh! There's a Mega Marowak in this game! Yeah, because that's not an official thing. <laughs> Interesting! Mega Marowak, I don't know how to feel about that, if I'm honest. In one case, the child fi fights with the mother, and in the other, the mother fights with the child. In spirit mode, or how exactly? <laughs> uh, I switch to the uh, TV. No Rotom. Okay. Let's go. Hello. I ran all the way here from the Kanto region. I can't feel my feet. Okay, I don't know how far that is, but apparently you're tired. Hello! Hey, check this out! If your Pokémon would faint when taking damage, this item lets you live at 1 HP! Okay, Focus Band! Hi, you thought I meant a Focus Sash, didn't you? Hmm. This town was named after Mechi, one of the gym leaders here when the region was first founded. She had a fairy type gene, she went undefeated as long as she was here. She retired eventually, and we named the town after her because of her winning streak. In place of her gym, we built a secret bases to sell to newcomers. Why don't you try buying one? Maybe I will, I don't know how helpful they're gonna be for the Let's Play, but that's something I need to explore, I think. We used to have a nasty Rattata infestation in the forest east of here. Luckily, a few of us were able to band together to clear it out. We repurposed this same, the space for secret bases, which was a fantastic idea. We've made a ton of money from that industry already. Okay, before I continue exploring, I would like to go to the hidden grotto that was over here. Because as I said, as I said uh, each time, I think every day they change at the what you can encounter there. So let's see if I can get a helpful item. Chan chan chan! A full heal. Okay. Anything free? It's nice, right? <laughs> Apparently there was a gym, there is a gym leader here in Mechi Town, but not the original one. I don't remember if the other lady that was talking to Orion when we fought him is in this town. She told us she was a gym leader, but I don't remember what, which gym leader she said she was. Oh, this is the guy that gave us the focus band. Okay, <laughs> Miss Rivas. Uh, okay. I wish I had a girlfriend. Oh, my favorite Pokemon are grass types. You know, if you ever want to try using grass types, this may help. Miracle Seed! Ooh, I don't have a grass type right now, but nice, thank you. I think I need a grass type for my rotation team. Mm, did I talk to you? Oh, yeah, the Rattata problem. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, these trees are just for show, they don't do a thing. 
I've been living here in Mechi for as long as I can remember. Back then, our only source of food came from that berry patch. But then we learned to farm and fish, and our town has only grown since. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll talk to that one. This one. Uh, I was hoping that maybe one would give us something, like a sharp beak. A lot of travelers find that this town tricky to find their way out of. You are actually supposed to go south down the river. Okay. That's weird if you ask me. Will you be using the daycare in our town? You might find this useful if you want to become a Pokemon breeder. Destiny not. That's why what the breeders use to pass on uh, natures. It helps you master Pokemon genetics. Shock. I wish I had a boyfriend. Wait, can I do something? You want a, you want a boyfriend, and the other guy wanted a girlfriend. So uh, I want to try to talk to that other guy. I don't remember which house. What it, was it? I think it was this one. Now that the lady said, I want to. No. Okay. Nothing happened. I was hoping. I was hoping. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her again, just in case it was the other way around. Was it you? Yeah. Well, nothing happened. Okay, so now let's read your books. It's a book that reads Pokemon World Tournament. Would you like to read it? Yes. The Pokemon World Tournament is a world-class tournament that moves around the world every decade. It has existed in many prominent locations such as Unova, Or, and Salkra. I have no idea what that means. The next location for the Pokemon World Tournament will be the Torren region. However, that location is still undergoing development. The Pokemon World Tournament is, a famous, for is famous for hiring a variety of well-known trainers for people to battle against. Trainers such as Steven, Blaine, Cynthia, and even the legendary Red have all made appearances at the tournament. However, due to the lack of uh, prominent trainers in the last decades, the tournament has fallen into this repair. Many turn inhabitants have started the, have stated they've made it their goal to bring it back to its former glory. Interesting. I think we're on TV. Okay. There's nothing else here. I think over there it's like a have I gone down these stairs? I don't think so. Okay, I think that over there we progress the story, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. Now, I don't see a gym, but I think I'm missing one section of this that I can do. Over here, I think this is the daycare. I'm the daycare woman. I help take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. Any Pokemon you'd like to have raised Oh, any Pokemon you'd like to have raised that you can leave in my husband's care. Normally, in the daycares, they give us something. I'm the daycare man, we can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like to like us to raise your Pokemon? No. Okay, then fine. Come again. Well, he said those words, but in different order. Can I... Oh! I walked down there. I was like, what? I cannot glitch is this. Okay. I want to check which Pokemon I can find here and if there's any hidden items. Tentacles! Even lower level than the ones that I fought on the previous route. Uh, yeah. Oh! Okay. Where am I going? What is this? Keep out! Embargo! Uh, not a very useful one, but... Uh, I'm a little bit worried to enter here. Should I? Oh! The door is locked and rusty. Nobody has been here for a long time. 
Okay, so maybe at some point we're gonna need to get here. This sounds like a cult to me, so... That's interesting. <laughs> okay, we can't get there. I think I just have to... Well, he said that if we want to get out of town, we have to go down here, down the waterfall. I think this is the waterfall. Well, it doesn't say that it has changed the route. Uh, okay, no. I want to check first to the right and see what we can find there. There was a guy at the entrance there. So, let's talk to him. And yeah, I don't see a gym here, so... Greetings, do you know who I am? Allow me to tell you, I am known as the, the Secret Base Manager. Trainers from all over the world come to me to purchase and manage their secret bases. You know, you can do a lot of things in your secret base. You can decorate with your trophies or plushies, or even hire people to work for you there. You can even visit your friend's secret bases. If you want, you can lay traps around your base to prevent your friends from easily sneaking in. I don't think any of my friends are, are uh, actually playing this game. If you want, you can play a fun game of capture the flag with your friends or visit their friend's safaris. So, have I convinced you yet? Would you like to have a secret base? Wow, I don't even have the money for a secret base. I can let you have one for the price of 5k. Well, that's what I would say if I, you had 5k. Come back with it and I'll see what I can do. Hey, wait, I need to talk to you. Oh, I guess this is the interest of my secret base. Uh, there's nothing left here, so should I go? I guess so, there's no, no other reason I should stay here. I visited all there is to visit. Yeah, there are no like secret paths around here, no. Okay, so goodbye, Mechi Town, I guess. Okay. Oh, a hero. Hello. Alright, kid, show me what you got. Extraordinary J. Dust call. Wow, 27. Uh, I'm gonna dazzle in green because that's tab. Your special attack is like really bad. Will o Wisp, of course. I think I'm gonna work up to see if I can get a little bit more. Pursuit, I resist that. See, that was nice. He's bulky, so I like him. <laughs> Maybe he evolves, he's gonna be even bulkier. Dazzling Gleam. Bye bye, Dazzle. Burn. Ah! Okay. Omanite! I guess I'm gonna dazzling him again because he resists the chip away. Water gun! Ah! No, Kato! No. I was hoping you would leave something. You haven't seen Wonder in action, so. Wonder. Show them your shadow punch. Nothing spectacular. <laughs> but yeah, it's a stronger stab move, so I guess it works. Kabuto! Oh, that, that does nothing! I'm gonna confuse Ray him. So maybe he, he hits himself while I do other stuff. Oh, minus two, Jesus. Hit yourself, hit yourself! No, accuracy. Well, I think I can work with that. Okay. 
Why is he faster? Yeah, he went for the protect. Yeah, I wonder. <clears throat> okay, I need to go back and heal, so... Let's do that. Thank goodness that this game has speed up button so that I can not waste that much time here. Rubby. Run, run, run. Heal, heal, heal. that I'm gonna do the mono fighting run uh, because I'm not gonna experiment that many that much with the Delta species that are in this game so yeah just some some thought I had oh don't take this personally it was the spirits that called upon me to defeat you that's what you'll think old lady medium jazz Literally, I cannot touch you that well. Actually, let's go to Julio just in case they go for the Willowist. I haven't used Michael in a while, but yeah, Julius is a better bit for this encounter. Shouldn't kill. Okay. I'm actually wondering what's gonna happen when we talk to that hero over there. Oh, Rotom! Okay... I don't have my ground type! Okay, so Michael, come here. Let's switch could do. Not so bad. Faster. He's level 28! And he lives! I'm gonna shout at me. Wee! Priority Ghost! Drift Blame. Okay, it's a fully evolved Pokemon, so I'm a little scared. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna swing. I resist that. Okay, the boost. Thank you very much. Just burn it! I know that Michael is more of a special attacker, but still. Wow, Michael getting to levels! You know, yes. Alright, I lied that there was no spirits, I was just hoping to beat you. You were just hoping. Okay. Let's see what happens if I talk to this hero. I thought that, that, that I triggered a story. <gasps> Sin the Quill! That's so nice. I'm gonna run. And escape. Ah! Let me run. Can I please run? Thank you. Hello? Oh, it's a static encounter? Oh, just when I don't have my electric type with us. I have powders now. <laughs> so that works. Do I attack? Okay, that doesn't do that much. And I'm glad, but can you stop doing that? Thank you. That did nothing. I received the pursuit. Or unless he gets another 4 or 5 Fury Cutters, I can leave them. I don't know if I should give him a potion or not. This is not the bag. Let's see this one. 
potion kills a lot, so I don't think it's that necessary. Or do I? Or... I think it's better if I just use it. Can you stop pursuing? I'm not gonna switch. Maybe I should try with my... Oh, actually, he's dead now. Facade! Hmm. I'm gonna say no, because most likely if I'm status, I'm gonna try to heal it instead of use it. Oh, it dropped an item. Block! Okay, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that, but yay, I get. I think the only one can that can learn block is Green Blob, but I'm not so sure if I should give it to him. Uh, to Julius. Okay. Wingle! Okay, I'm gonna switch Gato from the front of the party because he can't run away from stuff. So Valentine, you're back in front. Oh! Dick is hatching. And yeah, you're right, it does look like a Yoshi's Meryl? Yoshi's egg. Why Meryl? I'm gonna nickname it because why not? But uh, Meryl Azumarill. Why? How should I nickname this thing? Mm. I have no idea. <laughs> No clues, what should I nickname her? It's gonna be Mary, I guess. Mary the Meryl. <laughs> I'm so original with my nicknames. Do, would you like to put Mary on a different Pokeball? I don't think so. So I can put... Pokemon that has from Max in different Pokeballs? Interesting. And let's check out Mary. Oh my god, you're level one. Are you good at anything? Naive. You have huge power, so maybe that's nice. You don't have that very good IVs if I'm honest. Tackle and water gun. Yeah, I'm gonna finish exploring here. And then I'm gonna go back to box that thing because I don't think I'm gonna add it to the team. Anytime soon. Another man type. If I'm honest, I was expecting a Delta Mon. Oh! I could have avoided that encounter. Okay, before I go down there, let's take a look around here. I think go back to the Pokemon Center and get our teammates back. Well, mainly my one teammate, Mr. Resetti. Okay, there's a path up down there. Up there, sorry. <sighs> Wingle. Let's check it out. Oh! Well, the last time we got into a house, they had a tree that they could give us. <gasps> what is this? Oh, okay, I need a, I need Magnemite. That for sure is a Pokemon. I don't think I re recognize the, the tiny sprite. So, I don't know what that is. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back and get my Magnemite. I 
think I'm gonna do a little bit of switching uh, because Gato is already level 29, so maybe it's okay if I put him in the box. Do do do. And let's kill everyone. And then we're gonna put Meryl back in the box. Marry the Meryl. And let's deposit you store in box 2. And continue with box operations. Uh, for now, no. And one with Thorough. My catching Pokemon. Magnus. I don't think I explained why I named the, the Magnemite Magnus, but uh, there's this. Uh, I don't think it was a scientist, I think it was a philosopher uh, that was called Magnus, which discovered that rocks had magnetism and they, he called them magnets because he was Magnus, I think. Uh, they give him the credit for inventing the magnets. I mean, more than inventing, discovering the magnets. So, yeah. It's an old tale. Hello? A doglet? I think it's funny that they made a doglet into a swana. Uh, that's an interesting evolutionary line. Okay, let's see what we have here. I would catch the Cyndaquil, but I don't like <laughs> I don't like the evolution. As I mentioned before, I don't like the third, the second stage of evolution of the Joro starters. But yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here, and I'm gonna uh, leave here in a <laughs> kind of a sticky situation, <laughs> uh, a cliffhanger. That's the word, a cliffhanger on what is here in this little chateau so yeah uh, I don't know actually where we are uh, okay I thought that this was a map oh I think I have to click on it uh, where's my mouse aha it says route 4 it doesn't say Mechi Town but I can do I have to move? Oh, I have to move with the cursor, okay. Yeah, this says Route 4, but it never changes the... What it said. All time loves nothing more than being with Roxas. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, you wouldn't have evolved Valentine. But yeah, as I said, I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here with a cliffhanger. And on the next episode, we're gonna figure out what this Pokemon in here is. And... Well, if it's interesting enough, I'm gonna add it to the party, maybe. Yeah. But honestly, I would like to get your suggestion first. But yeah, we're gonna figure out together on the next episode which Pokemon that is. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did. And it's time to wrap it up. Bye bye.